hi, hi, and welcome to Roulette's Play Scratches. Uh, bright light! Bright light! I arrived oh. at Blackwood Manor one cold Saturday morning amidst a thick veil of fog. The weather didn't look good, and there was an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Yet, I soon became entangled with the place. Uh, that sometimes happens when you walk too close to their vines. <laughs> oh god. European cars. They just don't have the lines, you know? Well, that's... Gross exaggeration. Common, e economical European cars. Well, I guess no economic cars really have the lines. <laughs> Hello, house on Haunted Hill. Oh, automatic gates, that's a nifty feature. Saturday, October 12th. Oh, wow. <laughs> the cloudy sky above me seemed rather unsettling and almost made me lose my balance. I felt a curious urge to run for shelter. Oh, it's one of those games. I was actually just talking to someone about these kind of games, the old school. So this key opens this with very little effort. The key unlocked the front door. Hmm. I have no idea who to call though. <laughs> Oops, okay. That's what happens when you don't water the plants. Ho 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 ho. Okay. In we go to the... What is this, a study? It looks like a study. Nothing to take in here, really? It's so full of shit, though. Oh, I got something there. There's something. Look like a screwdriver, maybe? No. Okay. Is there a middle drawer? Nope. How about that far drawer? And that far drawer is locked. Ooh. February 6th, the construction of the railroad. Alright, this is a lot to read. So, I'm gonna go ahead and read it later on my own. Oh my. Um, and if you guys want to read it, you can just kind of pause, because this is, this is a journal <laughs> right here. Oh my. The mask, the mask, the mask. Something's been ripped out. It looks like... Oh! Can I... <laughs> wow. That physics doesn't take that long. This game was suggested to me after somebody who really liked my playthrough of Tormentum. And they told me that uh, I would really enjoy this because it's scary and it's atmospheric and has great music and... Oh? Hello? Oh. Hello. Michael, it's me. Hey, Jerry. It's good to hear your voice. I see that piece of junk you got there is working. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> I was afraid it'd fall apart as soon as I laid my fingers on it. So how did you find everything? Do you like the place? It's hard to tell yet. I'm very impressed, that's for sure. You sound odd. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. It's perfectly fine. It's just that I'm in awe. I'm pleasantly <laughs> surprised. This house is like a dream come Yeah, let's go with all. So you do like it. You got me worried there for one second. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn this place into a factory of horrors. Oh, I'm a horror Dad, author. You ought to finish that book. I'm rooting for you, mate. You sure everything is in order? Well, I just got here. Let me have a look around, and I'll get back to you if I find anything strange. Excellent. I'll talk to you later. Jerry seems like a nice fellow. What a stand-up guy. A journal over there. Ooh. Fireplace had a generous amount of wood, and I was relieved to know that I could warm the place once it got cold. Certainly not good at chopping fires. 
Chopping fires? Chopping trees. I just More chopped books. those fires. Oh. Okay. Well, once again, pause if you want to read it. Um. Can't stand it any longer. This clock is also not working? Time is set to 9 a.m. I have a feeling that's going to be important somehow. I know I went this way, but I think there was an alternate route that I didn't go. I went... Hmm. Yeah, I went this way already through the double doors. I have not gone through the single doors yet. Single doors pluralized. Oh, wow. Really dark in here. Need to open up these. Ha! Ah, I can. Oh. Hmm. Several vases of African craftsmanship. You don't know that. They could be knockoff. They could be Chinese. Everything's made in China. The drawer was stuck beyond. <laughs> this guy gives up really easily. Generic lamp. Still tasteful. In we go. Oh, it's a keychain. Is the fridge stocked? No. Begging for some serious cleaning, not to mention disinfectant. What is that? It's like a plate of bones. Who does that? Water isn't running. Hmm. It's gonna be problematic when I have to take a bath. Anything under here? Ooh, a knife. I don't know why I would need this, but... Hi. Oh god, am I gonna have to kill something? Something gonna chase me. Am I gonna have to defend myself with a knife? Oh, what's that over there? Oh, but there's nothing on it. Door to the basement is locked. What is this? Right off the kitchen? Might be a servant's quarters. Hmm. Trees and stuff. Amateur photographer. So much for a maid quarter. Oh, what's this? Is that a pen? Do I need to get closer, maybe? Yeah. I think I see Bigfoot in there. <laughs> Aww! You're just a cute little thing! It's your little tail. Look at your tail. Don't touch that squirrel's nuts! The topmost sheet of paper of the pile has some curious markings on it, so I grabbed it to have a closer look. Housekeeping! Oh, there was a maid's room. The maid was into photography. We got here. Pencil. Close that up. Okay, so we got a pencil and a piece of paper. I managed to reveal what appeared to be a letter in Italian. Wow. It's awfully. I just had to do something about it. Okay. So I guess we had an Italian photographer made. So very. What is that? Oh, it's a little flower. That's nice. It's the basement. Nothing else in the thing? Kinda thought something might come popping out of the water there. The smell prevented me from further investigation. Well, I'm just extremely- Oh, yeah. I could not lower myself to smell this toilet. Mm, I think there was an upstairs. Yes, there was. Up we go, getting our cardio. I remember that Jerry said a nice room had been prepared for me upstairs. Are you a nice room that's been prepared for me upstairs? Oh no, you look like a bathroom. Oh, you're a bathroom with drawers. What's that? Oh, some cloths. Oh, oh, it's see-through. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> this place is huge. And the door magically just opened in the opposite direction. Oh. Piles of newspapers were huge. I needed a more specific date to look up. No. Oh, I have a feeling that I'll be back here. Ooh. Can I take this? Yes. This is always bottom left. I'll come back here when I'm looking for something a little more specific. Down, down, down. So one of these rooms must be mine. Is it this one? Oh, where'd the music go? Whoa. 
stuff. Nothing but stuff as far as the eye can see. All those masks, they made me feel very uneasy. They actually do make me feel real. I'm trying not to make this too terribly dull because the psychological horrors, they really like to do the build up. There's the double doors that I came from the African room. I think this was the last one on the- Ah! This had to be my room. It became evident why as I glimpsed the gorgeous view through the huge window. Oh. The view was inspiring. This would be ideal when doing work. Too early to go to bed. I thought maybe I could put my... Oh, what's that? Why is it that I can't concentrate? Have I really lost it? I can hear them again. I have to document this. I, I wonder what distressed this writer so... I don't know. Nothing's happened. <laughs> and I haven't read the notes because... I don't want this... Oh, what's this? I grabbed a stethoscope. Oh my. Hmm, beautiful. What is she looking at? <laughs> Aha! Oh. Some papers. And yes. Typewriter. Okay. Hmm, you can pause if you want to read all this, but I'm guessing that's my book. Michael, it took me months, but I think I managed well. I think I speak there are only a few details. Anyways, beauty will take your breath away. The price was just as we discussed earlier. By the way, I sent two people over yesterday to clean it. Should you need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. Ah! Don't hesitate to give me a call. Here's my number. Ah, pen and pad. Barbara. Oh, some matches. Some very reasonable looking shoes. Okay, I think I've gotten everything useful out of there. Oh my. Keeping a very active journal. Oh, lights don't work. Hmm. Maybe I should go down and call Jerry about the lights in the water because I feel... Oh! Speaking of calling... This doubles back to the main foyer. Let's just give him a ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, shall we? I want to speak with Jerry. I love rotary phones. <laughs> Hello? Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Me. What's up, Michael? Everything seems to be fine, except the lights don't work. Oh, you don't have to worry. I forgot to tell you. I had an electrician, one that I trust, to meet you there this morning. You know how a lack of power can be a recurring issue in old places like that? Oh, how right convenient. Soon. That's good to know. I'll set up my stuff and let you know how everything does later. How everything oh, does. Have fun. Sure. Oh, I wish I had an accent like that. Oh, but what about the water? Do I not want to tell him about the water? Hello? Jerry, There's no water. Me. What's up, Michael? Do you know anything about the previous... I mean, yeah, episodes? what about this mystery? <laughs> Murder. Kidding me? A murder? An old-fashioned murder. You'd probably love the details, but sadly I don't know very much. It's old history, really. Although it caused quite a stir there in Rothbury. Rothbury. It seems the owner, James Blackwood, I think, went mad and killed his wife. Mm. I do remember the date, though. May 1963. Well, we're going to be going. James Blackwood, according to the stuff I've been reading. Oh, so you're already turning the place <gasps> upside down. I should have thought so. There's enough material for a whole series of stories here, you know. After you finish your book, my friend. Yeah, yeah. But it can never hurt poking around a little. Would you just get back to work? <laughs> Call me if you need anything. This guy's gotta or, be like my editor. Yeah. Or my publisher. What about the water? The water is jacked up and I need to take a shower. Oh, <laughs> Motherfucker took it off the hook. That's just rude, okay? Do you want me to sign up with a different publishing company? Because 
That's the fastest way to get me to take my business elsewhere. There's no sign of the electrician. Oh, there's a little mailbox, though. Oh, no. Mr. What's-Your-Name, Mr. Carter sent me. I was told to meet you, but I've been waiting. No signs. Please contact as soon as possible. Well... Shit. Hi, Jerry. It's me again. Um... Yeah, about that electrician. Carter Properties. Jerry, we have a problem. What happened? <sighs> the electrician missed me. He left a note in the mailbox. Bloody hell. He was supposed to meet you at the gates early this morning. I thought he was just being late. Damn, then I must have missed him for a few minutes. What the heck am I supposed to do Candles. Now? Why don't you go check the fuses yourself? Maybe it isn't that serious. I don't know. I'm not very really good <laughs> with that kind of thing. I like how I'm not putting on any airs. Just go and look and let me know if you see anything burnt. <sighs> As in black spots. Yes, black <laughs> spots. All right, I'm on it. All right, so now I have to get into the basement that I don't have the key for, unless maybe the back, maybe the main door key. Maybe it's a skeleton key. Opens all the doors to the house. Um, key doesn't fit there. Oh. Maybe Barbara knows where the fuses are. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hello, R8 Productions. R8 Productions? What in heaven's name was that? Oh, hi, boss. I was just fooling around. Well, don't. I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of studio. And don't call me boss. I'm sorry, it's just that no one was calling and all of a sudden I got excited. I told you it was going to be that way, girl. But I still <laughs> need you there. I just hope you're not being bored to death. Oh, don't worry. I'm studying tons, tons. during my spare time. I love that so much. That's great, but don't lower your guard. As soon as I publish my new book, that place is going to get riddled with phone calls and hundreds of fan mail. Only hundreds? That's the spirit, boss. I know your new book is going to be a huge success. Of course it will. <clears throat> as soon as I find a proper ending. <clears throat> and stop calling me boss. As you wish, boss. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. Wait, you, don't you, um, you speak tongues. Can I call you about that Italian letter? I Italian. Hello? Hey, it's me, Bobby dear. Bobby I dear. Ask you a favor. Bring it on. I found a letter here. Uh -huh. I'm curious about it. It's in Italian. Do you think you could translate it for me? <laughs> Mrs. Styles. Yes, yes, of course I can. Just send me the letter and I'll put hands to work as soon as I have it here. Excellent. Hmm. I wonder if the postman will come by. I feel like I'm the last person alive on the whole planet here. But have you told the post office in Rossbury that you're moving to Blackwood Manor? Yes, Jerry did. I just hope they don't forget about me, that's all. In any case, thank you. You're such a dear. Mm, you're such that's a dear. Actually, that's what I'm paying you for. Oh! Anyway, I'll Aren't we cheeky? mailing that letter. I'll be standing by for action. Thanks. How good is the Goodbye. the mail Goodbye. service that she's just gonna stand by and wait for that letter? Let's go and pop it on off into the mailbox outside. Okay. One mail letter. And I'm still stuck. Murder. Murder most fair. You're not incredibly helpful right now. There's a whole other set of stairs over here. I didn't see before. Hmm. Okay. A couple of old and rusty lamps. It's a large crack in the wall. That's it? Oh, is there a key on the floor? Hmm, nothing. Another window. What happened to the sky? <laughs> Your skybox is broken. The door was locked, but I could see a key on the other side door. Oh. I bet you... I... This into the door. And then this pokey thing. Huh? Bingo! Now I've got... 
Oh. He got stuck on the other side of the door. Well, good for me. I'm a genius. Uh, crap! Oh. That looks like... Um... Okay, okay, I think it just gave me a clue of where I need to go. I'm getting a raging clue. Yep. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Let's go fix a fuse. Or break a fuse worse. Or possibly cause an electrical fire and burn the entire house down with us inside. Ah, that sounds fun. Basement! Oh, why'd the music stop? Why the happy music? <gasps> Oh, what is with this music? Oh, it was terribly cold and damp. God, the noise! It's like... Oh shit, it's terrifying in here. It's a huge furnace covering the east wall. It didn't understand why. In interesting boxes. Okay, okay. Um, there appear to be nothing wrong with the fuses. Oh god, music, please stop. <gasps> I'm getting fucking goosebumps. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. The atmosphere was dense and claustrophobic. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh. Why did I just freak out so bad? Sorry, I have no idea. Like, just that music really got to me for some reasons. <laughs> I feel ridiculous. <laughs> Let's call up our good friend Jerry and tell him how incompetent we are. And that this basement is spooky as fuck, and we want our money back, and we want to move immediately. Hello? Jerry, all the fuses seem to be fine. I think the problem might be a little more complicated than that. What should we do now? Go get some candles. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm calling this guy right away, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. He was already driving there today as a personal favor. There must be something you can do. I don't feel comfortable walking around this place with dim lights. I barely know it. Michael, <laughs> come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Adventure has nothing to do with it could be like you were living in a past century. being killed exquisite Victorian house by a ghost. By what I wouldn't give to be in your place. Twisting my ankle. I have my sense of adventuring back in London, thanks. <laughs> back in London. Then do it. What else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. Yes, candles. After hanging up with Jerry, I realized I'd already explored enough to determine there wouldn't be any candles. Jerry, there are no candles in the house. Yes? Jerry, I'm freaking out. I couldn't find a single candle inside this place. You're kidding me. I can't believe it. Did you look Dude. Well? Yes, every single room, drawer, box, cabinet, nothing. No candles. All right, listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. This is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Come on, it's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Yes, he'll be doing me another special favor and we'll be going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. <laughs> I'm such a grumpy... Grumpy cakes. I'm just grumble, rumble, rumble, rumble. Candles! Okay, how do I car? Grum, 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 grum. That's not good. That's never good.
The car wouldn't start. It was only then I realized I had left the lights on. I'm a fucking moron. Alright, back into the super fucking creepy house with no goddamn lights and no goddamn water and no goddamn candles it is. And fuck that basement. Jerry, I am so sorry that I am so incompetent. And fuck everything up. Let me guess. <laughs> Jerry, you won't believe this. It's insane. My car is dead. What? Are you sure? Have you checked <laughs> the I'm not joking. It's gone. My friend, this completely redefines the term suspension of disbelief you sometimes use for your stories. I know. I'm speechless. I forgot the lights on and the car ran out of batteries, all because of that bloody fog. Jerry, you've got to help me. Get over here. Michael, look at the time. I can't drive to Northumberland. Northumberland? But Jerry, I can't spend the whole night without one single source of light. I barely know this place. And ghost, I ghost type and mind. then go to sleep. I can't even know if it's a ghost <laughs> Are you a sleepwalker, Michael? You lie down on the bed, <laughs> you, sleep, you wake up. <laughs> exactly, light. Jerry. It's not helping, and you're the one who got me into this mess. In However, I would like to note, Jerry, the water's not working. It's not my fault if the electrician missed you for a few minutes. There aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay. Listen, when will you be coming back to Rothbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town. Stock yourself up. And then spend the rest of the day we are going to buy every summer, candle. Drinking some beers while we wait for Mr. Electrician. Sounds like a plan. Sounds yeah, like more than a plan. I don't think that sounds like a good I, time. I'll get some lawn chairs I and. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. Alright. I'll be on my way then. They're just meant to go wrong because it's a plot device. Yes. Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. <laughs> I promise it will. Goodbye. Beyond on my nerves at this point. <laughs> but that's because I'm American. Here we go into our lovely blue room. Let's go ahead and get some typing done. Nope. I'm never gonna get typing done, apparently. I'm just gonna go straight to bed. The next- <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck is that? A hammer. The sound of a hammer wouldn't let me sleep. <gasps> oh god, it's my own fucking footsteps. Oh god. Oh, I don't want to go investigate. <gasps> <gasps> oh, it's coming from the basement, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Where is it? Is it coming? Is it coming from in here? What is that noise? Noise. Wasn't there... Like a giant fucking... There's the hammer. <gasps> yes? Oh. Oh, it was a tree. What the... Odd noise. Noises seem to grow louder. Mm, I gotta set this. If I listen careful, yes, the noise is coming from there, but I still couldn't determine there's. So mm, it's probably like a bird in the. Oh god, it's fucking dark in there because I don't have any lights! Okay, well, we are way, 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 way out of time, so we're just gonna have to go investigate this guy just another day. <gasps> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please come back for the next episode. Please like. Please subscribe, and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god.